Hey guys, it's me, Chad, the Climbing Kid, and uh, today I'm going to be kind of going over and reviewing this video I found of someone climbing in Goat Rock. So Goat Rock is a climbing place on the west side of America. Um, as you can see here, that is the Pacific Ocean, and uh, I'm going to be going over and analyzing it. Let's get started. So if we rewind a second, you can see this person has this um kind of loud, well it looks like a loud suitcase on the back. Well that's actually a climbing pad uh, or mat for you to land on and it covers sharp rocks, hard ground. Um, so if you fall, you fall on something that kind of um, really sustains the shock. And you have a cute little dog, it's very common to bring a dog with you. Um, this would be, yeah, let's go. This is a climbing guide from the looks of it, and obviously Goat Rock's in the Bay Area, well, well now you know it's in the Bay Area, um, and you're always gonna, unless you know the place, unless you know every single hold in the place you're climbing, you're always gonna have one of these. In fact, no, no matter what, you're gonna have one of these. This is just a guide that tells you all the different routes, um, who made them, everything about the routes. Um, really just a guide to everything you want to know when you climb there. So setting up the climbing pads, um, testing out the holds, and, uh, while well, they're climbing. Let's fast forward a bit. So... She's climbing the back end of Goat Rock, the side that faces the um, water. Well, actually, the ocean's over here. So, um, it kind of faces the water, if you just look to the right. Um, and this, I believe, is a V2, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a V3, which is moderate. Um, and around this corner, you have a bunch of V5s and V6s, from what I remember. And basically... I guess they're going to start with some easy stuff. Maybe that's just what they're doing. Maybe they were already warmed up. I don't know these people's skill level. Um, yeah. And that right there is kind of a pocket type thing. I don't know if I'd classify that as a pocket, more of a crimp or a jug. Because it has that nice big grip for your entire hand to fit around. But it also, depending on the way you grab it, can be used as a crimp which is a crimp is basically a hold where you crimp it and a crimp you the action of crimping is where you, you get your fingertips on the hold and you have something called like an open crimp where it's only three fingers and it's very your hands like your pinky and your thumb are kind of opened up open they open up your hand hence the name open crimp then you have kind of a half crimp where you get your pinky on and you kind of curl it so your hands at a right angle and push down with your fingertips, and then a full crimp where you bring your thumb on top. And the, you bring your thumb on top because it gives, like, another finger for power, so it's 20% more power. And it, um, it, it's, re that's what you would use for small holds. Obviously, it's very windy. It's right next to the ocean. A little side-by-side -side video comparison. So, right now, I... Don't, can't tell from this foot, but, and here she's sticking your foot, wedging it in the crack. And what you do when you stick your foot in the crack, obviously there's nothing below it. It's all over the other side. So what you do is you twist your foot and put weight on it. And that allows you to get really good counter pressure between the bottom of your toe. Like those little, kind of like, bottom knuckles of your toes. And the, uh, the top of your feet. So that's a really, really reliable foothold if you twist hard enough. That's another one of these crimpy jugs, juggy crimps. And it looks like she's putting most of her, in this clip, she's putting most of her weight on this foot. And really just sagging on those arms. Um, this is probably because A, she's tired. B, she can't find a, a good enough foot to um, go up. So she's just kind of inchworming her hands all the way up. Until she can uh, move this right foot or maybe get like a toe in there and then bring a foot up etc 
and then she topped she topped out over here. I think this is the same. Oh no, this is the V. No, this is like the V5 and 6 area right here. Over here, similar. I think this is might be. This is no. This is a different route. Um, the ocean being right behind us. Uh, she's just this is more of a traverse route. So she started here and she's traversing over to the left to get to the top, which is pretty common. There's going to be a lot of traversing. In um, outdoor climbing and in indoor climbing, there's, it's going to be a lot of straight up and down. But in outdoor climbing, you're going to see a lot of this. So for the looks of, I don't think she made it because I'm pretty sure all goat rock routes um, end up at a top hold. So this is the top hold area behind here, and this is kind of its own little island, and you have these pathways. And so um, you can like climb up on this rock, and most people kind of sit up here and have lunch. In fact. I think it's over on this other side. We, my rock climbing team and I went over, and my rock climbing coach actually dropped her phone in a crack that looks something around this. And we tried for forever to get it out, but just couldn't. So if you ever going going into go rock, look look for a very small crack in the middle, and uh, you might find a phone. She might have gotten it out later. She said she would do it, but I think that was just to get us to not climb, to keep climbing and stop wasting our time. Okay. Um, this is a heel hook, and that's actually a really good heel hook placement in the rotation. She's rotating her heel into the wall, and that's locking it in. This heel hook is locked. It cannot, she has to lift it up and then out. It's, it's kind of like having a key in a lock. You can't just take the key out. You have to, you have to twist it before you take it out, I think. Yes. So, oh, and it's locked. The analogy perfectly works. Sorry. So she's just kind of following this red up and the top's around right above the screen, I would imagine. So let's see if we can see that. Yeah, so heel hook, she actually adjusted it from here up to here. And she didn't do that locking rotation on um, movement. So it actually slipped out, but she caught herself. And then obviously the left foot out to the side. Okay, so this is a very, very this is a route I tried many times. It's um it's really fun. It's up this red. There's a lot of show sharp rocks uh, i believe it's a v3 two or three um two two three or four i believe um and well you start here you climb all the way up and from what it's i don't know why they didn't put pads down i think they're gonna move them as she goes on but um yeah i, I don't know why they didn't put the mats down and then the top is just above here i think from what i remember and then here let's watch that again so she has her foot out to try to get some this kind of small heel hook to really let her reach out and then this bottom foot down here supporting her weight sagging in those arms to really get that maximum oh to, to put all her weight on her feet and so this is she's what she did that right there was she pulled up with her hands obviously and um she locked off on those hands locked off meaning she pulled up she's in a position where, we sh where she can do lots of things. She just locked onto that hold. Hence the name lock off. So she, this is called flagging. Where you put a foot out to one side or the other. Or, okay, no, not really down. But, um, and it helps with balance. And it keeps your body to, well, when you put the foot down in this back way with a high foot like that. What it does is it rotates the, it kind of rotates your like hip area into the wall so um to this so this is keeping her balance right here so she can lock off on that on these these two are locked off this foot's keeping her balance this foot's keeping her weight and that's the next hold so this is all kind of all the elements you need to get to the next hold in rock climbing so that's why i was kind of going over it okay so she couldn't really grabbed that hold so she fell off didn't lock off properly on that left hand and couldn't make it with the right hand so um if any one of those puzzle pieces that i just said earlier gets taken out then you can't complete the puzzle okay it's like some simple climbing with some small small feet lots of reaching up yeah that wasn't that technique heavy Let's keep going oh that's it so, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, um, 
this is my first video. If you enjoy, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And thank you.